Good morning, Hamilton. I'm so glad that you are here today for a great day of working hard and being kind. Today is Friday, January 27th, and we have a lot of exciting things to talk about. First thing we have to do is talk about our birthdays. So we have some birthdays this weekend. Tomorrow it is Miss Avery Sturkey's birthday in Ms. Moyer's room. Happy birthday. We also have Liam Thomas Adams. His birthday is tomorrow in Ms. Mickle's room. Emerson Goodling, his birthday is tomorrow in Ms. Mickle's room as well. Happy birthday to all those friends. We hope you have a great day. All right, I have to say, I'm really blown away and really impressed. In math class, we've been talking about this word equivalent, equal to the same number or amount. And I was really impressed. I've been give, kind of giving a challenge to our third through fifth graders to increase their submissions. I had a lot more submissions in third through fifth grade this week, which is just so exciting. But I wanted to share a couple of honorable mentions. So these didn't win the award, but I was just so impressed by them. So Blythe in fourth grade, she wrote, equivalent means a number that's the same as another number. And she even drew an example and she circled the numbers that were equivalent, which is just really, really cool. Um, excellent job. Uh, Ms. Madeline in fourth grade wrote, in math class, we were working on equivalent fractions. I gave my teacher one to figure out if it's equivalent or not, and this is what she answered, and she's correct. And then she actually wrote out some different answers for her teacher to solve. Excellent job. But our winner, the one I pulled out as the winner, was Miss Sanaya Wilson in fourth grade. Great job, Sanaya. She wrote, two-fourths is an equivalent fraction, and some more are six-twelfths, five-tenths, nine-eighteenths, ten-twentieths, and eleven-twenty-seconds. And she even has a picture here. I'm so glad you took what you were learning in math class with fractions and connected it to this word equivalent. Really, really good job. Sanaya, Ms. Musser will be by on Monday to make sure you get your, your um, award for that. All right, our core essential here is knowledge. Remember, learning something new so you can be better at whatever you do. We are focusing on this the end of January is coming up next week. Next Tuesday is the last day of January. And so on that day, I'm going to be coming around and passing out awards for working hard, being kind, and for knowledge. This is your last chance to really show your teacher, I'm always ready to learn something new. I'm always trying to learn something new. This would be a great thing to be recognized as. All right, Hamilton, I hope that we have a great day of working hard and being kind. I want to congratulate everyone on working their hardest through the through the testing that they were doing this week, especially in third, fourth, and fifth grade. I know that that test is long, but I saw a lot of students persevering, trying their best, having grit, and pushing through it, which just is what we do here at Hamilton. So good, good for you. All right, remember, work hard, be kind, have a great day, and at this time, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. 